next installment of our stickman making class. Kind of. Well, I guess he's uh, it's not a bad looking stickman. Anyhow, so the last tutorial, uh, we went through um, uh, putting a texture on them and uh, painting them because I don't like blast stickman. And um, we started with the armature or bones or rigging or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did it really quickly and not properly because, well, the tutorial was getting kind of long to me when I was recording it. Anyhow, so I'm going to go over it again. Um, I've upgraded to 2.67. I finally found uh, what was causing the runtime error. And uh, you might see a couple new menu options and my screencast keys are different and stuff. But anyways, um, it's basically the same uh, with a few added new features, which we're not going to deal with because it's confusing. Anyhow, uh, so here we are. He's our stick man. The last time I didn't show you about view or anything because I was in a hurry. It was getting too long and I just wanted to kind of show people it's not as hard as it looks. All this isn't as hard. It's just a question of taking in information and remembering it and repeating it until you get good at it. So anyhow, so we're gonna put... Uh, I copied my stick man over to uh, another window yet again. Um, and deleted, well, no, I didn't delete it. There's the bone structure. Um, we're going to rebone him again properly. Well, we did it properly before, but with a minus a few steps. So we change our view and both our windows. We create a second window. Um, this window was probably the image editor from before. We just moved to 3D view and we changed to this orthogonal, whatever you want to call it, perspective. You can move them around fine. Oops, too much. Yeah. Three. There we go. And this one. Uh, numpad one to make them front. So these are our two views that we need to be able to see them. And, um,. Don't really move the origin to the geometry. Snap the 3D cursor to the origin or selected. And then we're going to create a bone, a single bone, which we can't see. We have to go here and we have to turn it on. X-ray. Now you can create an axis. I think that was too busy. You can change to wire if you want. We'll use solid this time. So this is our uh, armature too is what we're going to be using because I kind of didn't delete the other one. Uh, anyhow, so here we go. We're going to scale this bone like that and move it down. You can grab it. GY Oops, wrong one. GZ, or you can just use these things. Or you can turn them off. But I kind of like them. Anyhow, so here we go. We're going to scale this up. I think my stick man had more bones on the last time, too. Maybe not. Anyhow, we'll do it this way. Now we're going to go into edit mode. So this pointy end of the bone is the part you want to build on. The bottom end is kind of anchored and the pointy end is kind of the, the tip or the, the usable part of the bone, I guess. So uh, I guess this is about where I want my neck to start. So extrude on the Z axis. This is my neck. Um, so I'll move this down a bit, maybe, maybe not. So here's where we're going to build. Um, we want to do both arms at once. Um, as you see, they're linked together here. We want to do both arms at once. We want it symmetrical. We want to make a left and right. So you check in, x-axis mirror, press shift E on the x-axis 
and out they come. Now, they're still attached. Control P. Oops. And work in this way. Clear. Disconnect the bone. Grab it. Hopefully it worked. R1. There we go. Um, one. So there we are. There's our bone. Extrude it again. I think I had three bones the last time. I don't know if that's necessary. This is our elbow. Kind of. What do I want my elbow? I guess that's good for an elbow. Um, there is our bone. Now we're going to make one for the legs. Again, oops. Check in X axis mirror, Shift E. Armature, parent, clear, disconnect the bones, grab them, down they go. <laughs> Worked better this time. Oops. Hopefully I already disconnected. Yep. Yeah. Rotate it downwards. There we go. You have to be a little bit more careful apparently after 2.64 because it's more temperamental. Uh, this is our. I'm going to control Z. E. I guess it's about right. Anyhow, so this is our knee. It seems a little. Should be a little about there, I guess. Extrude it down. No, that seems too long for the knee. <laughs> One more time. Extrude it down. This is our leg, foot, leg thing. Yeah, I guess that's about right for our knee. So there we are. We've got our bones. Oh, wait a minute. This is our neck. Now I'm going to make a head bone. Control Z. Extrude on the Z axis. Oh, I then undo it and extrude. Z. There we go. Possibly too much. Maybe we'll get rid of that bone later. We shall see. Okay, so we've got all our bones and now we need to... I'm going to set the roll to zero on all of them. If they aren't already. These ones should be. These ones probably aren't. See, it does both. X and Y on left and right side. Both. 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 Now we need to name them. Here's our bone. Bone one. Bone. So this is, we're going to call this uh, torso. And then we're going to call this neck. And then we're going to call this head one. Head two need to on this head. Now we see, because we use this mirroring, it's labeled our left and our right. So, uh, arm, one, left, arm, two, left, right, arm, two, not to go on automatic. Arm, leg, one, left, 
leg two left, leg one right, leg two right. Okay, so there's our bones are labeled. Now we're moving forward to something new. Um, we're going to use some when you make a bone, it makes a pose menu. So to move our bones, we're going to add some constraints, kin kinematics. Kin so here we're going to inverse kinematics. Our bone is too, too long. Our arm is two bones long. One, two. And then we'll see it's going to move more or less. We will ignore the fact that it's kind of moving all over right now. We're going to fix that. Yeah, you know, like that. It's pretty good, eh? Okay, now here's another one. Doesn't do both sides. Two for leg. We'll grab it in this one. Let me see. Isn't that cute? Well, goes all over, but that's more or less it. Control Z to undo it. Kin kinematics too. So there we are. Do I want one here? Um. Let's see what it does. Would a head normally bend like that? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, get rid of that. We'll just leave that like that for now. Okay, I'm going to save this. Stickman 3. Okay, so now we've got this done. We need to weight this to our our dude. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that he doesn't move all over the place. We need to apply rotation and scale. So then we select that and we select that. So we select the person, the stick man, and then the bone structure, control P. Now we're using automatic weights um, for this. This actually works pretty well. So we're going to set parent to armature deform. That's to link our bones to our mesh. And we want it to move the mesh around. So we're going to use automatic weights. So let's see how that works now. He's not bad, eh? Grab this, but we see he's kind of not bad. He's a little, there's a little too much play, so we gotta fix the play. And how, pray tell, do you do that? Well, um, there's more. When we selected constraints, we created a new menu. In our kinematics, so we see that our dude, he moves on his, for his leg to move backwards, he moves on the y-axis, you can see, it, the x-axis, you can see it's not actually there on this one. So we're going to use that. Before we're going to do that. Right away. Um, I'm just gonna move his elbows a little bit more. Actually, I think that's wrong. I'm gonna go this way. I'll um, make things a little more natural. So that's kind of where you would see a normal person's, like our bones aren't straight, 
Okay, so this way the the kin kinematics will work better. Okay, so we saw that he has like 360 degrees moving around each axis and that makes things a little bit difficult. So we're going to limit the movement on the XY axis. Uh, yeah. And we're going, or lock it I should say, get rid of the movement on the, some of the movement on the X axis. So set that to zero. That's wrong. That means his leg's going to be able to move the wrong way. Oops. Minus 180. Try this one to zero. Then if we grab him, it's a bit better. Kind of, sort of. Uh, I'm actually going to move it down a little more and then I'm going to make it a little bit stiff. So if we move them, meow, more or less works okay. Still snapping backwards a bit. So I'm going to go in the edit menu. I'm going to try this way and see how that works. No, that's even worse. Go back into the edit menu. Grab it on the y axis. Now let's go into the pose menu. It's too stiff. Close clear transformations. There we go. Grab it. A too stiff, probably. Control that. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of some of that stiffness and increase this a bit. Anyhow, so I think this is okay for him. I might change my mind again. We shall see. Now we're going to do this one. We want him to be able to wave his hand. We, If we lock this, can he wave his hand still? Yeah. And we want to limit the movement. On the x axis, I think. That's wrong. So we'll move this one down, grab it. Yep, so basically, although I think that's a bit much kind of what we want and that's a stick man so good enough good enough now let's grab him If I grab him here, I guess that's not a very useful bone, eh? <laughs> Next piece is we need to put a couple of bones to control his entire body movement. Like, because right now, if we lift them, they kind of 
nothing squashes down we lift them so we're gonna fix that um on the next uh, in, a, in a second i want to put a couple of control bones on or uh, to m make it more realistic movement. So we're going to go back into edit mode um, and we're going to put um, a root bone on and two, uh, uh, you call them, some people call them targets, some people call them IK bones, um, two IK bones on the legs and a root bone or a master bone. Again, it depends on who you talk to, what you want to call it. So again, shift E, extrude, and we're going to extrude it down. Uh, try that again. Shift E, extrude Z axis, down we go. Okay, so these are our target bones, but we need to clear the parent status. Um, because we don't want them to actually uh, influence the movement. We want them to be act as the ground, I guess you want to call it. Um, so there's our ground. We have them on the grid, as you can see. So uh, we're going to pull the bone down a little bit below that x-axis and we're gonna check the roll a wee bit shouldn't be any because of the way I produced them so I'm gonna call this IK leg left oops IK leg right some people call them target. Some people call them that. Go back into pose and then we want to give them um, this uh, uh, constraint now um, here. So uh, it was armature 2. If you noticed I renamed it before. Armature 2. So now we've got like a target bone uh, IK leg left. So I see it turns yellow now. And then we'll do the same thing with this one, armature to our IK leg right. So that's locked. Got a little over something. feet are up in the ground, up in the air. So let's try and fix this. There, better. His feet are not up in the air anymore. So now if you grab it, He's going to act differently a little bit. Grab him. Well, that's interesting. Anyhow, so we've got it working, kind of, sort of. <laughs> to do with our stiffness. Ah! I didn't limit lock it the same way. That would be why this is behaving differently. Zero. I actually prefer the way it's working on this side. Um, Forty five. A little bit of stiffness. Forty five. Right, see how it works now. Yeah, that's a bit better, eh? Kind of, sort of. See on the side view, the jumping is a bit better. Okay. 
So, now we done that. I guess I need to fix this one because I didn't fix it the last time. So let's do it now. What did I lock this one? We'll leave it at that for now. Zero. Four, four, eight. Okay. Good enough for me. Point four. Point four. There we go. Stiffness point two five. Stiffness point two five. Grab them. That's not bad now. Okay, so that's a bit better. Now we need to make a root bone. Okay, so to move them now, you use the these bones at the bottom. You can't move them using the the other one anymore. Not a big deal. Um, to move this guy. I don't know if I if this is right or no. Oops. I mean, again with the. I guess this is going the wrong way now. It was working before, so I'm going to change this to about 45. Change this to 180. Grab. Oh, yeah. That's way better. We still kind of do this one as well. So, oops, 45, 180. Grab them sideways. Not too much play. We'll find it. So, I'm still busy rigging it. I said we're going to go forward and I'm still busy rigging them, but I want to make them bounce around nicely. So here we go. So I'm going to up the stiffness a little more for each of these while I'm here. Grab them, more or less, I think. Pose. Clear transformation off. Okay, so while I'm at it, I need to worry about much more of this. Grab them up. Grab them. Kind of wee wee. <laughs> okay, now I sound like a flaming idiot. Okay, so more or less works the way I want them to, I guess. Boing, boing, boing. This is a stick man after all, but no real waste. Okay, so, okay, we'll move forward. <laughs> now that I've finished playing with them, um, we're going to add a master bone or root bone. Shift C. Um, I'm gonna add a completely new one here. Uh, we're in edit mode. We move to edit mode. I press Shift C to move the cursor. Shift add a bone. Look at that. So now we're gonna call him master or root. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I need to. I'm in the side view, R90. Oops. Yep, that's right. And I guess I need to move it down a little bit. Scale in this way. Okay, so this is like my root bone. Now, assuming this is going to work out and not give me any problems, I need to go back into pose. Now I'm going to make this like the boss of all the bones. Wrong menu. 
Try this again. This one, this one, this one. Uh, all of the root bone. Armature parent. Make parent. Keep the offset. See now you see the little chains here? That this is all our bones connected. So theoretically, when I go into pose mode, if I move this, I move them all over. Oops, I'm not gonna see them on that. Control Z. A pose. Clear transformations. Oh, oh that's better. So there we're moving him. If we want to move him across the screen. We use that bone. If we want to move his legs, we use that bone. These IK bones. If we want to use move his arms, we're gonna go by this. And I, oops, grab. So there he is. He's more or less rigged. Select all. Pose. Clear transformations. So there he's set up, more or less, I guess, to walk across our screen. So I'm gonna leave it there. I think that's probably way more than I should have put into one tutorial. Um, our stick man is now rigged, more or less, even though he has no waist. Stay tuned for the next one, which will appear. Um, sooner or later, <laughs> hopefully sooner. Happy rigging. Bye for now.